बी एस एल फोर इन्फेक्शन इज ईबोला सास कोवी टू सेलमिनला टी बी सो वॉट इज दिस बी एस एल बी एस एल इज बायो सेफ्टी लेवल यू मस्ट बी हियरिंग ऑफ दिस बी एस एल फॉर द पास्ट टू ईयर्स सिंस कोविड हैज बिगन इन आर कंट्री so what is this bsl 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 they used to define the types of facilities uh, the protective equipments the administrative controls which you are needed to conduct a research on pathogen this is basically a laboratory investigation or a laboratory restricted uh, study because it will be like a, a con- containment zone basically it's a con- uh, it's a contained laboratory where they study the organisms each level is meticulously designed to lab acquired infections to protect the environment from your hazardous pathogens we have four levels in this bsl okay level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 we can call it like uh, minimal moderate minimal moderate high and very high these are the bsl levels okay and each bsl we have particular characteristic particular organism what and all they will do okay so this bsl 1 okay this is the lowest safety level it is not known to cause any disease in human beings uh, the examples would be your e coli okay e coli best example is your E. coli. These agents are not associated with any disease, any disease in your human beings. Okay, it this will not cause any disease in human beings. Uh, organisms are E. coli. Then your skin bacteria, yeast, all that. Your second uh, BSL level is L. O. Which will cause a moderate. I told you, microbes will possess very moderate potential hazard. to help the to the health personnel and the environment your uh, your example should be influenza your other common cold viruses viruses okay salmonella i am telling you the other examples also right uh, uh salmonella rsp then your herpes then rhino viruses that's what i told you know common cold and all This is BSL two. BSL three is indigenous or exotic microbes that may cause serious or potentially lethal diseases through inhalation. So your examples would be HIV, H5N1, tuberculosis, tuberculosis, ah uh, SARS-CoV two very important SARS-CoV two then avian influenza I told. H five N one avian, then plague, Yersinia pestis. These are all examples of your third. Fourth is very high red in color. Okay, red. They are exotic agents that pose a very high risk, very very high risk, life threatening for everyone, including the laboratory personnel. For there are no, unfortunately, there are no vaccines or there are no treatments for it. Ebola, SARS, COVID two. Some uh some say that SARS, COVID two is uh four, but some they have restricted it to three. Uh majorly it please stick it uh COVID two to BSL three. Okay, Ebola. Your uh your examples would be Ebola and smallpox. smallpox is eradicated but then i am just giving you an example of a very hazardous uh, this one uh, so it is smallpox and ebola unfortunately there were no vaccines or treatments to it so you always have to think a uh, different for it or you should avoid and there is one more virus called marburg viruses marburg viruses these are definitely deadly viruses so they have given you a new description as i told e coli is the first one influenza hiv and lyme tuberculosis ebola and uh, 
exotic this is indigenous you have to remember inhalation in type 3 moderate risk okay autoclave instruments with a bio seal okay covid is still we can give it bsl3 okay bio seal is important life threatening which is very 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 life threatening is ebola so bsl4 infection is ebola this is 3 this is 2 this is again 3 your 1 would be um, your 1 would be e coli and yeast please understand the, the descriptive part what you have to do how the laboratory personnel should be there and the examples mostly they were asking only the examples